Hello, we have uh, the Leap Out team here, Johan and Pinky Bell, a longtime Gitcoiner. Um, excited to have both of you as a part of the Ethereal Hackathon. Uh, we would love to talk first a little bit about LeapDAO and then get into the prizes for the event. Cool. Hi, everyone. Yeah, so uh, we are two of the LeapDAO guys, which is really an open source development community. So um, there is no company or anything like that behind it. It's just a multi-sig on Ethereum and the purpose to deliver scalability to Ethereum. And uh, currently we're focused very much on like building out layer two solutions. So we've been building a plasma chain and launching it. And we're super excited to uh, kind of power the first events uh, with this chain. So we're going to Croatia in two weeks, I think, to hmm. dalcon.io. And we will use uh, um, a modification of Austin's burner wallet to ah. have people, you know, uh, buy, uh, buy food with plasma tokens and stuff like that. Plasma dye, actually. And awesome. um, um, in mid-May, we will go to the Cannes Film Festival. And the idea there is to kind of allow rights holders of movies uh, to kind of write their payment information into NFTs that represent movies. And uh, then people will, when they stream movies and donate, uh, then these funds will be will go right to the rights holders and we'll have a demo for that on Plasma at the film festival as well. That's awesome. Cool. Yeah. So uh, the prices, uh, should we talk about that already? Sure. Yeah. 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 So we just put up what we would love to work on anyway, but because <laughs> <laughs> there are so many bugs, we kind of don't have that. Work. No. Um, so there is, this is all about like the plasma ecosystem and we want to make it as nice and easy for the community to use. So what we really want to put this out as a public infrastructure and it already is. So you can come uh, to our testnet or mainnet and register any uh, ERC20 or ERC721 token. And um, then it will be listed on the chain after a short governance process and then ready to go. But um, Plasma, unfortunately, compared to other side chains, has like this long exit game, which is seven days. So one idea here is to create a, a Plasma fast exit market maker, which means a service that buys the exits of other users and just mm -hmm. waits for the challenge period to finish, but pays them for the exit uh, right away. So you basically, if you're willing to kind of part with 1% of the tokens of the exit, then you can get it right away. Otherwise, you sit and wait. Hmm. And that's the smallest one, the uh, fast exit market maker. And there is a business model, obviously, in here for anyone who does it. So they run the service, they earn on it. Um, the next one is the Plasma Watchtower. And this is kind of uh, due to the uh, constraints of uh, Plasma, right? So Plasma is a, a child chain to Ethereum. And its security relies on the mainnet smart contract, kind of um, making sure that the operator of the plas plasma chain doesn't make any mistakes. And if he does so, then there is enough time for the user to kind of say like, oh, something went wrong on the plasma chain, I will access. And if he does that within these seven days as well, then the money is safe. He exits back to mainnet, gets exactly what he had. But what if you go to a holiday or you know, you're not around on your computer. You don't run a plasma node to make sure that everything's fine. That's the watchtower. So this is kind of um, a thing that would be very useful for users where you, you know, you type in your email or something like that and the watchtower runs a full node. And if there's anything wrong, sends out a bunch of email and says like, hey, it's better time to, time to get out your money. This chain is broke or broken <laughs> I, I both actually but, but. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah and um, we don't know there is not a clear business model there but i think there is at least like you know you would get to users and so um, yeah maybe, maybe like in in the case that you end up saving money uh you get some type of percentage of that something to that effect Exactly. Yeah. And the question is if you can prove that and uh, mm -hmm. any, anyone who's interested to look into that, that's the second biggest price. And then the thing that we are really want to do, that's why it's called Plasma Leap, is we want to help decentralized applications to leap onto layer two. So leap onto Plasma, right? Mm -hmm. And that just means being able to run your dev at like 
a thousand transactions per second and had pay way less gas than on the main net and all these kind of things. So we kind of took the first price, the biggest one, and split it into two and uh, we'll just reward any uh, decentralized applications that uses Plasma as its uh, backend. Maybe Pinky, well, you want to talk about uh, the Plasma smart contracts, the spending conditions a bit? Yes, yeah, so it's a small subset of Ethereum contracts. So basically uh, stateless uh, smart contracts on Plasma. So no storage or anything like uh, calls into other contracts. But we have something like storage tokens. Uh, so you can still have a state. Hmm. Um, yeah, basically you can implement everything like uh, also an NFT. Mm -hmm. uh, on Plasma, just a little bit different, but the contract will still run on Ethereum mainnet and Plasma. Hmm. So yeah. it's uh, in a compatible way. Yeah, it'd be cool to get some like kudos on Plasma, like specifically like a Plasma kudos that you can only, <laughs> only receive there. That would be an interesting one. Yeah. Um... Yeah, and with the smart contracts, you could, uh, you, you know, put it under the same rules as you do on the mainnet, I guess, you know, whatever, put it in, have it fight against a crypto kitty. Well, I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, so this one will go, uh, this biggest price will go in two chunks. Um, and we are really excited for applications, but as you see, zero applications everywhere. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> we're, we're all lonely at our channel. Come and visit us. Um, Absolutely. Austin, I heard, will be working on burner games. Yep. So all these, um, we have a fork of the burner wallet that runs on Plasma, and all the same things that he is doing are uh, possible on Plasma as well, with like the highest security that the protocol provides compared <laughs> to the uh, sidechain that you would be using otherwise. Hmm. And so even if you want to uh, work on burner wallet stuff and build nice games you know just switch out the rpc on the back end hmm. use the plasma chain and yeah. um there is some additional prices there. awesome yeah that makes total sense we'll make sure to cross post this in the leap out channel but also in the burner channel so that people who are interested across the board can can get involved Cool. cool. And then, and then we have our like our uh, how do you say our motto, and it's like peep peep plasma leap. <laughs> peep, peep plasma leap. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Peep peep plasma leap. You can find Johan making more jokes in the Leap Dow channel. Um, yes. And yeah, they they'll be a great people to spend some time with over the next couple of weeks. I can vouch for that. We've really enjoyed having both of them in our community. So. Um, yeah, excited about the next couple of weeks. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. Cheers.